Here we have B10. B10, the biggest complication of this is the center section. Now, instead of having these little tiny triangles, what we have is one big square that we're gonna applique this cross onto. So these, these are little pieces, and then there's a big square that you applique that on. And then once that's done, you can connect the triangles, make this middle section, finish the nine patch, and then do the log cabin outside border. So for my piece layout, here's my center section. Okay, so I'm gonna base these, and I'm gonna try to base these with the little ones here. I do the short sides first to get the sharpest points, and then I'll do the long sides. This one I cut a little too short, but I think it should be okay. So then I'm gonna assemble this cross. This is my this is my applique square. So this is what it's gonna go onto, and I'll base this to then put that on here. This is then gonna have these attached, and then we have the rest of the outside section. So first things first, let's get this little tiny cross basted and assembled. So I've basted and connected my little center cross and the next thing is to base this and then applique this onto the center. So I've got my cross stapled and in position for applique. I didn't do the white mark because the really the only lining up that needs to be done is to make sure that each corner of these, this is on the edge. And this is a little larger than it needs to be because there's some additional growth that happens in the middle of every seam. So in order to combat that and make sure that these corners are on the absolute edge, as I applique, I will make sure that these corners are in. So this may ex end up puckering this up a little bit, but that's okay because once the papers are out, then it will it'll calm down. And just as a refresher, because this is going to be, you know, this is a papers on top of papers. Once you're all done and you get to the paper removal process, you take, when you get to take this one out, then you can access these because you cut away the seam allowance. So this is gonna have just the outline of the cross. You'll see the threads after you take the paper out. And so then I will leave a seam allowance. So I'll just cut a little bit out of the middle here just to get to the papers of all five of these pieces. And then I'll take my stiletto and get all up in there carefully so that I don't you know, break any threads or puncture through the fabric while I'm trying to take this out. But that's how you get those out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and applique this down to make this whole center completed. So I finished my applique and took the staple out. The next thing to do is to baste and attach these triangles. What I'll do is I'll do opposite sides and then I'll do the other two so I can get the centering better on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those attached. So I've basted and attached the triangles that surround the center. So the next thing to do will be to attach the rectangles and then we're gonna, so that way we can finish this row here and then we can get onto the rest of the block. So I've connected the outside rectangles to the center square. Next thing to do would be to form each one of these rows. So I'm gonna baste these squares and attach them to the rectangles so that we can make this row here and this row here. So I've assembled both of the other two rows. Now I'm going to connect them to the center section. So I've connected the other two rows to the center section. The next thing to do is to put this little outside section on here and it's gonna be, this is gonna be the shortest side and this is gonna be the longest side based on the way it is. So these two are gonna be the length of the center plus that. And so these two are gonna be the same length. That's the longest, that's the shortest. And so that's what we've got laid out here is this is the shortest one. I'm gonna attach it to this side after I baste it, and then I can work my way around 
counterclockwise. So I've attached this bar to the center section, and that's what we have right now. Next thing to do is to attach this section. So I've attached the top section, so this is what it should look like on the front. Next, we're going to attach this side section right here. So I've got the third side attached, and this is what it looks like so far. And to now to attach the bottom section. So I've attached the bottom portion, and now my B10 block has been completed. 